This is my double-sided UV curing box for double-sided pre-sensitized PCV material. I decided to make this after trying the toner transfer method, which did not work for me. So I decided to do some research, found the pre-sensitized material, and found that there were not very many UV light curing boxes out there that were reasonably priced, so I decided to make my own. The box is comprised of ABS 1 8 inch material and sheets that I had scrap. The light fixtures themselves were stripped out of nail curing light systems for UV curable nail polish. The light curing systems come with these types of covers on them. They contain four bulbs and a ballast. Uh, board that controls all four light bulbs. These are 9 watts a piece with a total of 36 watts on the top and 36 watts on the bottom. There's also some LEDs in there that allow you to use the box as a shadow box for aligning your transparencies for your board. On the top, on the side, I have the ballast circuit board for the lights. That's for the top. And then on the bottom is the ballast on the bottom one. You can see the receptacles for the lights. Homemade board, actually made with this box, with an Atmega 328 chip on it, so basically an Arduino, and some um, volt or some relays, uh, manual relays, to be able to turn the lights on and off. And then a 5 volt AC to DC converter to provide the power for the Arduino. On the front, we have a 16 or 2 by 16 LCD display with some navigation buttons. The glass on the top has some alignment pins, one on the end and two on the top, that allow you to have three points of reference so that you can align your top plate to it. So once you get your transparencies aligned, then you can go ahead and tape it off to the top and the bottom. and when you remove it to put your board in, you can always find the exact same position with those three points of reference. It makes it a lot easier than trying to do it manually. So we'll go ahead and we'll plug this in. And we got power on the Arduino board. And when it comes on, the UV light or the LED lights automatically come on at full brightness on white. Come down to the display, gives us a readout of what's going on with the time and the UV lights. We navigate over, go into the lights, into the LEDs. We can adjust the brightness. Oops, there we go. So just in increments of 5 up to 255 from 0. Might change that so it's not so much. And then you can change your color. So depending on what's easier on your eyes. Custom color that you can that you can make any color you want. But right now we have white, red, blue, green, and then the custom. Lid comes down, totally blocks out the light, so that when your board's in there curing with UV, if you're sensitive to UV light, you don't have to worry about the board or the light affecting you. We'll go back to the display, go into the UV light, you can select just the top or the bottom, or you can select both. Go back out. Go to the timer in minutes and seconds. Set it for 15 seconds. And go down one, you have start. When you hit the start, the LED lights go on, off, and the UV lights come on. And then you have a countdown on the timer. And when it counts down to zero, then the UV lights go off and the LED lights come back on at the previous setting. 
I've lined the inside with foil all the way around. And on the bottom, on both the top and the bottom compartments so that you get the most reflection of all the light. You don't have any lost light. And I'll do my next video actually making a board so that you can see how easy it is to align your transparencies using the shadow box feature and then how fast it cures uh, with a total of 36 watts on the top and 36 watts on the bottom, four minutes and you've got a cured board ready for etching. So, like my video if you like it, leave any comments, and I'll post my next video.